have been involved in a study of love, sex, marriage, and the family through Hebraic eyes. In my teaching today, I want to talk about the importance of Mount Sinai and the big wedding ceremony on Mount Sinai and how it has impacted Jews and Christians to this very day. Now, when Israel came out of Egypt, some 50 days later, according to the biblical text in Exodus 19, the Israelites arrived at Sinai. Now, for most of us, Sinai may speak to God's giving the law, the Ten Commandments. But the Jewish people, historically, vicariously, all Jews were standing at Mount Sinai when that happened. This was the heavenly bridegroom calling into being a marriage relationship with his bride, Israel, a heavenly bridegroom, an earthly bride, Israel. So important was this to the rabbis. The rabbis taught that every Jewish wedding ceremony would be a reenactment of what happened on Mount Sinai, a reenactment of God's faithful love for his people, and a replica of really what happened at Sinai. And so the features of a traditional Jewish wedding ceremony and by extension, many things which have been picked up in the Christian wedding ceremony all go back to Sinai. First of all, scriptures teach that God is likened to a bridegroom and his people Israel, the bride. 